गुड मॉर्निंग जय हिंद टू ऑल टुडे वी हैव टू बी डिस्कस अनदर टॉपिक दैट इज ग्राफ इन द डेटा स्ट्रक्चर एंड टुडे वी हैव टू बी डिस्कस द बेसिक टर्म की व्हाट इज द ग्राफ एंड हाउ वी कैन बी क्रिएटेड ग्राफ एंड व्हाट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ द ग्राफ तो फर्स्टली व्हाट इज ए ग्राफ कि ए ग्राफ इज ए नॉन लीनियर डेटा स्ट्रक्चर व्हाट इज ए ग्राफ ए ग्राफ इज ए नॉन लीनियर डेटा स्ट्रक्चर दे आर द टू टाइप्स वी हैव टू बी डिस्कस अर्लियर देर आर द टू टाइप्स इन द डेटा स्ट्रक्चर वन इज द लीनियर डेटा स्ट्रक्चर एंड सेकंड वन इज द नॉन लीनियर डेटा स्ट्रक्चर तो ग्राफ इज ए पार्ट ऑफ द नॉन लीनियर डेटा स्ट्रक्चर वेयर इट ग्राफ इज कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू थिंग्स वन इज द नंबर ऑफ वर्टिस सेकेंड वन इज द नंबर ऑफ द एज तो वी कैन से दैट कि वैन इफ यू हैव टू डिक्लेयर ए ग्राफ दैट इज जी तो इट विल बी कंसिस्ट ऑफ द नंबर ऑफ द वर्ट एक्स वी एंड नंबर ऑफ द एज इज e where v what is the it is a combination of the all the vertices as given in the graph and what is the e it is a all the uh, edges given in a graph so we can see that the vertices sometimes are called uh, called as the nodes and the is is known as a line or we can be defined it is is a arc or it the arc can be defined between the two nodes if we have to define this is a node a and this is a node b so the line draw between these two node is known as the edge or we can say that this is a line or this is a arc so in the definition we have to be define what is graph so graph is a consist of the g comma v so there are the two components in a graph number one is the vertices second one is the edges when we have talking about the vertices so we can be define it as if i am taking this is a graph there are the various type of the graph if we are taking the this type of the graph so the node is 1 2 3 4 and 5 these are known as the number of the vertices so we can be define v contain what we contain that is the contain 1 2 3 4 and 5 this is a set of the vertices so that is the v same here what is e E is a connecting line between the two edges. Means that this is one word edge, this is the another edge, this is another edge, this is another, and these all are known as the edges. So we can be defined that capital E is a group of the edges. This is a combination of the edges. So we can be defined what is the V? V is a vertex V1, V2, V3, V4, and so on Vn. So what is V1 here? So we can be defined the vertex is one, two, three, four, and five. This is a set of the what is similar here if we have to define the edges here what is the edges here now here what we do we have not be define the value or any uh, something on the arc so this arc is where lie it will be lie between node 1 and the node 2 so we can be define it here the first one what is our arc this one this one is indicate in the node 1 and the node 2 so we have to be defined 1 2 in the similar another is the 1 comma 3 so we can be define another arc that is the 1 comma 3 next one is the 2 and the 3 so that is the 2 comma 3 and so on these are known as the edges clear if i am indicating here this is the edge one this is e2 this is e3 this is e4 this is e5 this is e6 this is e7 so we can be define the e is e1 e2 e3 and so on en and we can be define ki 1 comma 2 is indicate to the e1 1 comma 3 indicating to the e2 and 1 comma 2 comma 3 indicating the e3 and so on clear so in the all the given when we are talking about the nodes ki here these are the edges and these are known as the nodes so there are the various type of graph similar here if i am taking the this type of the graph this is the directed and or undirected this is a directed graph but here this is a undirected graph means ki we have to be say that there is a link between 4 to 5 and there is a link between 5 and 4 means ki in a undirected graph it will be a bidirectional we can be move in the both direction from 4 to 5 there is a link okay yes and there is a link from 5 to 4 this is a. means so when we are talking the undirected graph so it is in the bidirectional but when we are talking about the directed graph so directed graph we can be move only one direction there it is not be the bidirectional again this is known as when we have assigned some value when we have assigned some value on that edge so that graph is known as the vertex graph so that graph is known as the vertex graph again this is what is here here it is also a undirected graph if we have to be find out the number of vertex here we 
equal to so we can be defined our vertex is the uh, g a e f d c and b similar here we can be defined the value of the a's that is e e consists of the what is the first stage this one or the e that this one is belong to the between the node uh, g and the node a or we can say that the vertex g and the vertex a so we can define it g comma a this is the first stage what is the second is a comma c that is the a comma c what is the next that is c comma f c comma f next is the c comma d next one is the f comma c and d comma c and c comma d and so on so these are known as the set of the edges so we can be firstly when we are talking about the graph so we have these two term we have to be clear to what is the vertex and what is the edges clear now <coughs> when we have to define the there are the various type of the graph if i am talking about i am defining a single node that is this so if i am defining ki it is a graph so we have to be think ki graph graph is a consist what we do ki graph is a consist of the two things one is the vertex second is the edges means ki when we are talking about a graph so it will be contain the some vertices and the, if we have the more than one vertices then there is a line between these two vertices means the is but when we are talking about there are the various type of the graph so first is known as that is the null graph so what is a null graph a graph is known as a null graph if there is no edge between the graph ki agar if i am talking about these are the vertex okay but this is a graph so if where if these lines are connected these lines are connected so these are the graph if there is no connection between the edge the if no connection between the vertex and between the nodes then this type of graph is known as the null graph so we can say that if this is a null graph second one is this one if i am talking about the only a one node okay if we have the two nodes if we have more than one nodes if suppose i am taking the two nodes so this is a graph this is also a null graph but when we are connecting these nodes so this is a graph and which type of the graph this is the it there is a link between a to b and there is a link between b to a so this is a undirected graph if i am taking this this is a directed graph or i am taking this also this is a directed graph means ki if there is a link between here there is a link between b to uh, sorry a to b but there is no link between b to a similar here there is a link from b to a from node b to node a but there is no link from node a to the node b so these are the directed graph okay when we are talking about a single vertex ki graph if agar having that is a single vertex theek hai it is also known as the smallest possible graph it is also known as the smallest possible graph or that is known as the that is the triangle graph if i am saying here this is a tree if i am as we have to be discussed earlier ki what is a tree if i am taking here ki what we say ki tree is a sub parts of a graph tree is a sub parts of a graph if i am saying here this is a tree yes this is a tree that having the one node that having the one node so it may be a graph so we cannot be say that ki this is a graph uh, sorry this is a tree but it is not be a graph it may be a graph kyunki tree is a sub parts of the graph so if a graph yeah in the given figure that has only one node means that this is the smallest possible graph so that graph is known as the that is the travel graph so we have to be discuss the undirected graph in the directed graph is a graph which is has no any direction ki kisi bhi ek graph ke paas agar koi bhi direction nahi hai so that is known as the undirected graph or otherwise if we are giving a direction so that type of the graph is known as the directed graph suppose i am taking this <coughs> this is the directed graph uh, and directed graph if i am giving the direction so this is known as the directed graph okay anyway we can be connect this next one is the that is the connected graph 
connected graph means that uh, the graph in which the one node we can be visited by the another node in a graph is known as the connected graph means agar mujhe for a node 3 se move karna hai aur kahan pe move karna hai node 4 pe move karna hai to agar ye sare ke sare all these nodes are the connected with each other we can be moved from so this is known as the connected graph ki we have to be moved suppose from 3 to 5 5 to 4 or we can be moved from 3 to 1 or 1 to 4 so when the and <coughs> when in a given graph the nodes are the connected to the each other that is known as the connected graph next one is the disconnected graph means ki similar here if i am taking this example if all the nodes are the connected if i start from here ki suppose i start from 3 3 to 1 1 to 4 and 4 to 5 so this is also known as a connected graph all the vertices all the nodes are be connected to each other but here there is a if i am saying this is one graph and this is the another graph so we have said that these are the two graph but if we combine these two so this is a disconnected graph ki there is no link between all the nodes all the vertices jitne bhi sare ke sare nodes hain agar unke beech mein sab mein ek link hai ki agar main start karta hu from 3 aur kahan pe mujhe move karna hai from so, a link sabhi ke beech mein hona te, that is a connected graph, otherwise that is a disconnected graph. If I am move here from 3 to 1, so I move 3 to 5, there is no link from 5 to 4 or there is no link from 5 to 1. So, here this type of the graph is the disconnected graph. Again, I repeat, what is the disconnected graph? If all the nodes, all the vertex are connected to each other, are connected to each other, these are the known as the connected graph. If I am again draw this, <coughs> so this is not be a connected graph. All the nodes are be connected. So that is a connected graph. Otherwise, this is the disconnected graph. I can say that this is my graph 1. Hai, dusra graph kya hai? Suppose this is the graph 2. So I have the two graphs. These are not be connected. If they are the connected, this is the one connected graph. Otherwise, this is the disconnected graph. Okay. Next one is the that is the regular graph. So, regular graph mein kya hota? the graph in which the degree of every vertex is equal to k that is known as the k regular graph. Means if I am talking here, yeah, here anyone, ki every nodes, we have to be find out the degree of the every node. Degree means ki how many nodes, oh, sorry, how many a's are connected with that node is known as the degree. Means the degree, three, degree of 3 is how many nodes are connected that is 1 and 2. So, degree of 3 is 2. Degree of 5, how many nodes are connected? This one, 1 and 2. So, degree of 5 is a 2. Degree of 4 is known as 2. Uh, degree of 1 is known as the, what is degree of, sorry, uh, degree of 1 is, what is the degree of 1? That is 2. Means, so every nodes has an equal degree. So, here we can say that the degree of every vertex is equal to k. So, what is this value? This value is assumed as the k. So, this is known as the regular graph. This is known as the regular graph. And next one, it is mostly used that is the complete graph. So, in a given graph, adjust me here. What is that is the complete graph? In a complete graph, how we can be find out that is the complete graph or the node complete graph? If it will be follow this n into n minus 1 by 2. Clear? So, if in a graph, if the total number of vertices is n and it has n into n minus 1 by 2 number of edges, then we can say that that graph is known as the complete graph. If I am taking here these vertex 3, 1, 5 and 4, okay, yeah, I am considered here these are the connected. How many number of nodes? n is the number of the nodes that is 1, 2, 3 and 4, n is 4. So, 4 into 4 minus 1, 3 by 2, that is the 6. If in this graph it has 6 number of edges, then we can say that this type of graph is known as the connected uh, complete graph, otherwise complete graph nahi hai. So, how many number of edges? 1, 2, 3 and 4, so this is not be a complete graph. But if I am saying here or in the same figure we have to be put in this side, so how many number of edges are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, so this graph is known as the complete graph.
okay this is the main conditions if we have to be find out the complete graph so it means in a given graph which has n number of nodes so that is values how much is that is the n into n minus 1 if it is satisfied so then it is a complete graph otherwise it should not be a complete graph next one is the that is the cycle graph cycle graph is uh, we have to be here to by the name that is the cycle key we have to be start from the one point and we have to be reach at the same point so that is known as the cycle graph okay, here we have to be start from 3 to 1 1 to 4 4 to 5 5 to 1 so means that if it has the starting point is 3 and ending point is the 3 so means the starting and ending point if both are the same so that type of graph is known as the cycle graph here this graph in which there is a cycle itself, the degree of the each vertex. Clear? So, what we have been saying is that cycle create kar ke chal hai, that is known as the cyclic, uh, cycle graph. Next one is the cyclic graph. Cyclic graph means ki when we have to be talking about it in a given graph, it has at least one cycle. It has at least one type cycle. It does not be means that ki every node is connected to mirror. यहाँ पे starting और ending point क्या है both are the same कि where from where we have to be start from three and we where we have to be reach at vertex three but here from where we have to be start suppose five and we have to be reach here five three one four three means it in a graph it will be contain the cycle but starting and ending points are the ending points are not be the same तो it here कि if in any given graph it is it has one Cycle. cycle is kaha hai ki 3, 2, 1, 4, ye mera kya indicate kar raha hai, that is a cycle. Lekin yaha pe if I am starting from 3, mera starting and point, ending points are not the same. So, this type of graph is known as the cyclic graph. Same as the directed as cyclic graph means ki, now we are talking about the directed means ki every nodes, every nodes has a direction. So, when we have to be, ab you have to be clear. Firstly, cyclic graph. Now, as is, what is the a cyclic graph? So, when we have to be provide the direction to the cyclic graph, so this type of graph is known as the, the a directed graph that does not contain any cycle. That does not contain any cycle. What is the cyclic graph? In the cyclic graph, it will be says that it has at least one cycle. That is a cyclic graph. And a cyclic graph kya hoga? Ki jiske andar mere pe cycle create nahi hona hai, that is a a cyclic graph or isi ko agar humne kya bol diya ek direction provide kar diya to that is known as the directed acyclic graph ki jiske andar koi bhi cycle nahi hona chahiye ki main 3 se move karu to wapas aisa nahi hona chahiye ki main wapas kahan pe move kar gaye 3 3 to 1 there is no link between 1 to 4 there is no link between 1 to 5 and there is no cycle. so this is it means ki this graph is not contain any cycle to this is known as the acyclic graph and we we have to be provide the direction uh, with that <coughs> sorry with that is, so that is known as a <coughs> sorry, directed acyclic graph. Same is here, we have to be discussed here earlier, ki what is the weightage graph? If here, if every age, we have to assign a value, we have to be assign a value. So, that type of graph is known as the weightage graph. Here, there is no direction, so we can say that that is weightage undirected graph. If I am provide the direction here, in the here, I am provided the value that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 50 and 6. So, this is known as the directed weightage graph and this is known as the undirected weightage graph. Okay. So, these are the known as the uh, next one is uh, the we have to be missing here that is the bipartite graph. So, bipartite graph in which where we have to be divide the vertex into two sets such that Vertex in each set does not contain any A's between them. Means ki jitne bhi hamare vertex hai ki humne usko kya kiya vertex ko do parts pe divide kar diya ki suppose maine ek set banaya, mera kaun sa hai? U ek set hai jiske andar kya hai? U1, U2, U3, U4, U5, ye saare vertex hai. Ek mera dusra vertex kya hai? V wala hai ki jiske andar kya hai? V1, V2, V3, V4 and V5. So these are the vertices hai. अब अगर इस दोनों गिवन ग्राफ में क्या हो रहा है कि v1 का v2 से लिंक नहीं है v2 का v3 से लिंक नहीं है मींस कि इन ए सेट ऑफ v देयर इज नो लिंक बिटवीन दिस वर्टेक सिमिलर हियर इन ए सेट ऑफ u देयर इज नो लिंक बिटवीन द u1 u2 u3 एंड सो ऑन un बट देयर इज लिंक बिटवीन फ्रॉम u1 टू v1 मींस कि एक सेट मेरा दूसरे सेट से तो उन सारे वर्टेक्स में तो क्या लग रहा है लिंक रख रहा है लेकिन आपस में उनका यहां पे लिंक नहीं है तो दैट टाइप ऑफ ग्राफ इज नोन एज द बाइपार्टिट 
graph. Okay. Now, जो हमने अभी डिस्कस किया था ट्री एंड ए ग्राफ तो ट्री को हम क्या कह सकते हैं कि ट्री इज ए रेस्ट्रिक्टेड टाइप ऑफ द ग्राफ मीन्स वेन वी हैव टू बी ड्रो ए ग्राफ सॉरी वेन वी हैव टू बी ड्रो ए ट्री तो देर आर द सम कंडीशन एंड वी हैव टू द सम रूल्स थ्रू विच वी कैन बी ड्रो ए ट्री तो वी कैन से दैट ट्री इज द रेस्ट्रिक्टेड टाइप ऑफ द ग्राफ विच हैज कंटेन या विच वी फॉलो द सम रूल्स तो एवरेज रिमेम्बर है एवरी ट्री Will always be a graph. जो आपने अभी आप ये बात किया था कि एक travel, एक सिंगल नोट की बात किया था तो दिस इज ए ट्री अगर इफ इट इज ए ट्री तो इट विल बी ए ग्राफ ये ग्राफ हो गई होगा सेम हेयर की बट ये जरूरी नहीं है कि ऑल द ग्राफ विल बी ट्री ये जरूरी नहीं है कि ऑल द ग्राफ हो जितने भी सारे गिवन ग्राफ्स होंगे वो सारे मेरे ट्री होंगे ही होंगे क्यों क्योंकि जब ट्री के अंदर हम यहाँ पे बात करते हैं स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट एंड इट मीन्स की यहाँ पे कोई भी साइकिल क्रिएट नहीं होती है और ग्राफ के अंदर क्या होता है एक साइकिल भी क्रिएट होती है तो अगर एक ग्राफ जिसके अंदर कोई भी साइकिल नहीं है तो वो मेरा क्या हो सकता है एक ट्री हो सकता है बट अगर कोई भी एक मेरा ग्राफ साइकिल क्रिएट करेगा तो वो मेरा ट्री नहीं होगा तो इसीलिए यहाँ पे बोला है कि अगर हम ये नहीं कह सकते जितने भी सारे के सारे ग्राफ है ओल आर द ट्रीज ठीक है नेक्स्ट इज द मेन वन पॉइंट इज दैट इज द पाथ पाथ मीन इफ मीन एक Given graph, if we have to be moved from the one vertex or one node to the another nodes, the distance that covered between these two that is known as the path. If suppose I am taking a example here, सपोज मैंने यहाँ पे कोई भी एक ग्राफ बनाया कि दिस इज अ ग्राफ और मुझे कहां पे मूव करना है फ्रॉम द ए टू सी तो ए टू सी मूव करने के लिए मुझे क्या होगा या तो मैं यहाँ पे बात करूं दैट इज दिस इज ए पाथ दिस इज ए पाथ तो हेयर इफ आई एम टॉकिंग हेयर कोई कोई भी एक एग्जांपल लिया तो एक ग्राफ फ्रॉम यहाँ पे काउंट करेंगे फ्रॉम द स्टार्टिंग वर्टेक्स वी जीरो टू द वी एन सीक्वेंस ऑफ द वर्टेक्स क्या होगी वी जीरो वी वन की अगर मुझे सपोज की वन टू सी पे मूव करना है तो एक मेरा रास्ता क्या हो सकता है वन टू सी कि मैंने यहाँ पे मूव किया अनदर क्या हो सकता है ए टू बी बी टू सी या फिर ए टू बी बी टू डी डी टू सी तो दीज आर द नोन एज द पार्ट और जब भी हम यहाँ पे पार्ट निकालते हैं तो उसकी साइकिल कितनी होगी अगर हमने यहाँ पे कोई भी वेटेज नहीं किया कि सपोज अगर मैं यहाँ पे बात करूँ ए टू सी तो मेरी ए टू सी की लेंथ कितना होगा दैट इज देंथ ऑफ वन या फिर अगर मैं बोल दूं कि मुझे मैंने ये पाथ को फॉलो किया वन टू ए टू बी बी टू डी डी टू सी तो मेरा कितना होगा दैट इज वन दैट इज वन दैट इज वन तो मेरा इसके साइकिल के तो पाथ कितना होगा कि मेरा पाथ फ्रॉम ए टू सी कि मेरा यहाँ पे साइकिल की उसकी लेंथ कितना दिखा रहा है दैट इज द थ्री तो पाथ क्या होता है कि फ्रॉम वन वर्टेक्स वी हैव टू बी मूव फ्रॉम अनादर वर्टेक्स और जब भी हम वर्टेक्स से मूव करेंगे हमेशा क्या होगा वन वर्टेक्स टू द अनादर वर्टेक्स अनादर वर्टेक्स टू द अनादर एंड सो ऐसे मूव करते जाएंगे जो भी उसके बीच के डिस्टेंस होगी तो दैट इज नोन एज द पाथ सेम हेयर होता है कि दैट इज द डिग्री ऑफ ए वर्टेक्स जब भी हम एक यहाँ पे बात करते हैं जब टोटल नंबर ऑफ नोट्स की मेरा ग्राफ किसके बन किससे मिलके बनता है कि एक वहां पे दैट इज द मेन वर्टेस या नोड और नोट के बीच में क्या होता है कनेक्ट करने वाली एक लाइन तो जब भी हम यहाँ पे बात करते हैं तो वो यहाँ पे कहता है कि टोटल नंबर ऑफ एज लिंक विद ए वर्टेक्स इज नोन एज द डिग्री की अगर इफ सॉरी इफ आई एम टेकिंग दिस ग्राफ तो व्हाट इज द डिग्री ऑफ वर्टेक्स ए हाउ मेनी नंबर ऑफ एज आर पासिस फ्रॉम ए दैट इज वन तो डिग्री ऑफ वर्टेक्स एज वन डिग्री ऑफ बी कितनी नोड है दैट इज वन एंड दैट इज सी तो इसकी मेरी डिग्री कितनी है दैट इज द टू सी की डिग्री मेरा कितना होगा दैट इज द वन बट इफ आई एम टॉकिंग हेयर दैट इज द डायरेक्टेड ग्राफ वो हमने अभी किसको किया था अनडायरेक्टेड ग्राफ के अंदर लेकिन जब भी हम यहाँ पे डायरेक्टेड ग्राफ के अंदर बात करते हैं मैं हमारे पास अब मैं यहाँ पे बात करूँ दो टाइप के वर्टेक्स होंगे कि अगर मैं यहाँ पे इसकी वर्टेक्स की बात करूँ दैट इज कि मैंने एक लिंक प्रोवाइड कर दिया दैट इज द डायरेक्टेड ग्राफ अब डायरेक्टेड ग्राफ में मीन्स किया कि अगर ए का बी से है तो यहाँ पे अब दो चीजें होगा कि एक वो डिग्री उसके पास आ रहा है कि बी के लिए बात करें 
तो वो कितना पास हो रहा है कि उसका लिंक कहाँ पे जा रहा है डी पर लेकिन वो किससे रिसीव कर रहा है ए से भी उसकी तरफ आ रहा है एंड सी से भी उसकी तरफ आ रहा है तो जब भी हमें वैन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट ए डायरेक्टेड ग्राफ तो वी हैव डिवाइड द डिग्री इन ए टू टाइप्स नंबर वन इज द इन डिग्री एंड सेकेंड इज द आउट डिग्री तो वट इज द इन डिग्री ऑफ ए वर्ट एप इट इज द टोटल नंबर ऑफ एज कमिंग टू दैट नो तो दैट इज नोन एज द डिग्री ऑफ ए इफ आई एम हेयर की डिफाइन द डिग्री इन डिग्री ऑफ ए हाउ मेनी नंबर ऑफ नोट कम कमिंग टूवर्ड्स ए नो वन तो डिग्री ऑफ दिस इज इन डिग्री जीरो एंड वॉट इज द आउट डिग्री हाउ मेनी नंबर ऑफ और नोट आउट डिग्री में क्या कह रहा है कि टोटल नंबर ऑफ एजेस सॉरी मैं नोट बोल गया कि टोटल नंबर ऑफ एजेस गोइंग आउट फ्रॉम दैट नोट इज नोन एज द आउट डिग्री कितने जा रहे हैं दैट इज वन एंड दैट इज ए टू बी जा रहा है और एन टू जा रहा है तो उसकी मेरी आउट डिग्री कितना हो गया हो गया सिमिलर वी हैव टू बी फाइंड आउट द डिग्री ऑफ बी तो बी से हाउ मेनी नोट कमिंग टूवर्ड्स बी तो दैट इज वन एंड दैट इज टू तो उसका मेरा इन डिग्री कितना होगा टू और कितने नोट हो रहे हैं जो गोइंग आउट हो रहे हैं फ्रॉम डी दैट इज वन तो मेरा डिग्री इसका कितना होगा वन सिमिलर हेयर वी हैव टू बी कैलकुलेट द डिग्री इन डिग्री ऑफ सी हाउ मेनी नोट कमिंग टूवर्ड सी जीरो और या भैया आई एम सींग दैट की पुट हेयर तो डिग्री इज वन How many number of nodes outgoing from C? That is either two. So we can be calculate the in degree and out degree of a directed graph. But we are talking talking about the undirected graph, so we have to define the degree of the vertex. But here in the uh, directed graph, there are the two types of the degree. Number one is the in degree, and second one is the another degree. So when it has some points, ki what is we have to be so what is a source and what is a sink. सोर्स मीन्स इट कैन बी पास कि इसमें मेरा वहां पे क्या होना चाहिए कि सोर्स मीन ये इंफॉर्मेशन को पास कर रहा है उसके पास कोई भी इंफॉर्मेशन रिटर्न नहीं आ रही है तो अगर इस टर्म में यहाँ पे मैं बात करूं अगर कोई भी मेरा एक वर्ड टेक्स विच हैज ओनली आउट गोइंग एज मीन जिसके पास जिसकी आउट डिग्री होती है बट उसकी इनकमिंग एज नहीं होती मीन्स की अगर कोई एक नोट मेरा जिसके पास क्या है सिर्फ आउट डिग्री है और इन डिग्री कितना है जीरो है तो दैट नोड इज नोन एज द सोर्स इनकमिंग कुछ नहीं है उसके पास वो सिर्फ क्या कर रहा है आउट गोइंग कर रहा है सिमिलर है तो मेरा एक वर्टेक्स जिसके पास सिर्फ क्या होगा इनकमिंग एज होगा और मेरा वहां पे कोई भी आउट गोइंग एज नहीं होगा मीन्स इसका मतलब कि अगर किसी भी एक नोड की मेरा आउट डिग्री कितना है जीरो किसी भी एक नोड की मेरा आउट डिग्री कितना है जीरो जैसे हम यहाँ पे डी का कैलकुलेट कर लेते हैं डी का इन डिग्री कितना है कि ये कितने आ रहा है डी की तरफ वन टू एंड थ्री तो इन डिग्री कितना है थ्री लेकिन डी के अगर हम बात करें आउट डिग्री कितना है ये किसी भी वर्ट को यहाँ पे पास नहीं कर रहा है तो दिस इज नॉन एज द जीरो तो अगर किसी भी एक नोड की मेरा आउट डिग्री कितना है जीरो और उसके पास सिर्फ क्या है इन डिग्री है तो दैट टाइप ऑफ नोड इज नॉन एज द सिंह और अगर रिवर्स में हम बात करें जिसकी इन डिग्री कितना है जीरो है और जिसकी आउट डिग्री सिर्फ रखता है आउट डिग्री है उसकी वन टू थ्री जितना भी है लेकिन इन डिग्री कितना है जीरो तो दैट इज नोन एज ए सोर्स ओके समवन इज हेयर की वैन इन डिग्री ऑफ ए वर्टेक्स इज वन कि अगर किसी भी एक मेरे वर्टेक्स की सॉरी इन डिग्री कितना होगा वन होगा और आउट डिग्री कितना होगा जीरो होगा तो उस वर्टेक्स को हम क्या बोलेंगे दैट इज ए पेंडेंट वर्टेक्स तब कि अगर मेरा किसी भी एक वर्टेक्स की डिग्री इन डिग्री कितना है वन और आउट डिग्री कितना है उसकी जीरो तो दैट टाइप ऑफ वर्टेक्स सिमिलर है द डिग्री ऑफ ए वर्टेक्स इज जीरो तो उसी वर्टेक्स को हम क्या बोल सकते हैं दी की दीज आर नोन एज द आइसोलेट वर्टेक्स तो दीज आर द बेसिक टर्म वी हैव टू बी डिस्कस की वॉट इज ए ग्राफ अगेन आई एम रिपीटेड हेयर फर्स्टली वी हैव टू बी डिफाइन वॉट इज ए ग्राफ हाउ इट विल बी कंसिस्ट तो देर आर द टू पॉइंट नंबर इज द वर्ट एक्स सेकेंड वन इज द एज तो वैन देर आर द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ द ग्राफ दैट इज डायरेक्टेड ग्राफ अनडायरेक्टेड ग्राफ डायरेक्टेड वेटेज ग्राफ अनडायरेक्टेड वेटेज ग्राफ वेरियस टाइप ऑफ द ग्राफ है ना देन दीज आर द वेरियस टाइप ऑफ द ग्राफ ओके तो इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वे वी हैव टू बी डिफाइंड की वी हैव टू बी स्टोर दिस ग्राफ इन टू ए मेमोरी तो हाउ वी कैन बी स्टोर दिस ग्राफ इन टू ए मेमोरी ओके थैंक यू